Yeah. How many? Know? How many rounds are left? I I thought we are two rounds left. Only one. It's the last one. Seven. Yeah. Okay, guys. Only one round left, and the winner has a big chance to make it to the top. But it's not. After being my Oh, it's not <laughs> it's a guarantee for uh, X2 <laughs> to make it to the top 60. <laughs> also, Ilbestio Il Best is joining us right now. <laughs> Say hello to the Twitch. Hello. 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 <laughs> and also, also and yeah. Federico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's just one round left today. So, yes, so we before we're not the top cut, we're not playing. Like us? It's grabbing corner. Yeah. Thank you. We win the dice rolls. <laughs> Uh, Francesco won the dice roll. Yeah, all right. Think, so currently at this meta, it's uh, an yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, <laughs> dragon player, so... All right, now any decks uh, where you want to start? I think I would like I run for a second if I know I'm playing against Cosmo, just to give them this disadvantage of front card. Uh, Start with one card less and go back to place. There are not uh, decks anymore who want to start. Well, if you start with French Spectre, you could already set up your temple. Exactly. Like also Satellar, you just can make your plays, set your traps, and you can just uh, interrupt your opponent's plays. If you're going second, maybe he already has such a huge anything now that Exeter is gone. Yeah, I don't know. If, if you know your first five cards, then I would also go first. But your, the five cards are unknown, you don't know the cards. So having the, the plus one helps you for this uh, disadvantage. Okay. Which starts? So, like I told you, I think Francesco won the dice roll and let uh, Luigi start. So he's starting with uh, Wicked Witch and two back rows. Not that spectacular. Oh, he's playing also with Brilliant Fury. That's huge. I was like, the Wicked Witch is the best one to start with first turn. Yes, and people in America are, uh, yeah. In America? People in America are calling uh, the, the lower Cosmo Monsters pilots. Of course, we are piloting the, 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 big, the big ones. Okay. So, Wicked Witch is the best pilot to start. Okay, uh, they just say that we have to speak a little bit louder as they can't hear us. Is it better now like this? Depends. Um, like computer to computer, they can like be louder now. Good opening. What did he search for? Uh, mirror conductor. Mirror conductor. Oh, is he playing with Zephyros? Oh, it would be great. He's playing yeah. Zephyros. Oh my god. Okay, a lot great. So, as you can see, guys, a uh, very good start for Francesco here. If he had now so, a book or something like that, it would be crazy. So next he can bounce back the, the brilliant fusion to Sephiros and activate it again, right? Yeah. Uh, not in the same turn. Not in the same turn. Next turn. Unfortunately, the, the fusion one is level 5. <laughs> would be too broken if it would be level 4, right? 
Was ist mit Kasten los? Time Space Trap Pro on Kasten. Was mit Kasten los? <lacht> der Detest einen so. Was ist mit Kasten los? Was macht der? <lacht> macht der Leiche, sagt das immer. Ich lach mich immer so zu. <lacht> Oh, okay. What happened? A uh, uh, pendulum summon on two? Yep. And the dragon slayer, so... So you can summon coming. a weakness though. Ignis is such a great card. Maybe second time, please trackle. Oh, oh so it's falling. That's, that's really huge now. Maybe we can uh, in the next turn we do. So he has a left behind him. And one card. Has his normal sum, I guess. Normal, normal sum. Perfect answer from Luigi here. And I believe he can, if he has a, only one farm girl, is enough, I think, for the OTK here. Oh, really? <laughs> Do we see a Maxi again here? Or oh, attack Christian, maybe? Oh no, Christian's level 8, it's not there. <laughs> Yes, As three, uh, three. Yeah. because if you, yeah, Farm Girl destroys you at this point. Farm Girl is the card that can OTK here right now. Uh, if if Luigi uh, summon a Dark Destroyer, I don't know the rest of the end from Luigi. I think the worst outcome would be Farm Girl right now, so you would say uh, three at this point. Well, it doesn't matter if it's a Dark, Dark Destroyer or a Farm Girl, they're both like... So I don't know what he what said, but uh, four runners coming. Like, that's the last card in hand. 
It's the last card in your hand, so the Dark Destroyer that's enough. The Dark Destroyer just uh, destroys the Forerunner. Dark Destroyer destroys, sometimes destroys itself. But um, for Francesca at this point. I will okay, that's game. Over. Then that's game. You specifically destroyed his own, uh, like I said. Yeah, guys, this is Cosmo. One turn, 40k. Okay. okay. Oh. oh, that's enough. Uh, because... yeah, well, yeah, he has to swear. <laughs> and there's a damage shocker. Okay, guys. Francesco saved his life once with a damage shocker. So he's at 6 cards left, and we each don't have any other cards left. So, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> very important here. This right. He destroyed the last. Now he will win actually. He's playing two Seraphonite in the extra deck. Uh, to what? The Gemini Fusion in the extra deck twice. Because uh, now he has a battle scale. Uh, extra. Uh, one, one dot uh, soul scroll lead. He just needs uh, another pebble monster. Just to go into a list for Dark Destroyer, just run over the Slip Rider. Now to which is uh, down to 4000. Wow. He even don't have to OTK him just to solve the Dark Destroyer on the field and he should win. I think he's able to, uh, able to OTK him. Wow, what a huge comeback with that, that, that one damage shot glass saved his ass. <laughs> So fast can the uh, game change here. So what are the thoughts from Francesco here? Um, about the position of Seraphonite. As... But it will come with you. Exactly, but the, fu uh, the fusion spell says you can discard the spell card to increase his attack and defense to the original points. Then it will be a monster of 2-3 attack. Why you, uh, you don't really, you don't want to use your spells on that. Yeah. Just if you can go for game. I think he's not able to auto game, so that was the reason he summoned him in defense. But but I think you will we will see uh, the Mr. Prominence coming next. Well, maybe if, maybe uh, together with an Abyss Dweller. But I think this. Uh, he has two parts in hand. One is the flash uh, fire. We don't know the other one. Okay, I think it's a spell card. That's why he. That's why he thought about the position of the surfing right. Second scale for the pendulum sun. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, it's a plush fire set, so... Can you not uh, the, the, the left uh, scale damage juggler? Or what are the scales from the purple, which is... Uh, 5 and 3. Like, the, this fire guy is at scale 5. And not on that side? Uh, 3. Uh, he could have just summoned the Draco Slayer and he passed with two monsters, so if Luigi is drawing any monster he lost, he would lose. Uh, now he has the flash fire set, so he will survive three attacks. It goes to the extra deck, and he has a double shock on feet, which he can banish for another flash fire. Then he can summon the Ignister. So was actually played really good. I'm even thinking that's a wearing uh, wearing eyes face down, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, essential card from the green. Uh, for brilliant fury. Ah, okay. The light monster. Out from damage jugglers in the deck. Uh, right, to dodge. It's, it's, that's possible. Thinking. Okay. That was a 
was a mistake. If you should attack uh, the face down monster, but, but you knew it was flash fire. Yeah. So, I already. Uh, so now he gave him one extra deck monster. No, it goes to the pendulum zone. Uh, and that is the extra deck. And now he has there um, two uh, pendulum monsters with drag slave, so this turn is ready. Anything like this, then you the next turn. Uh, uh, he has 6 points left. Um, I think it's depending on the card he's drawing. So, I think Francesco now it's over now. It's a hand card. And I believe the hand card from Luigi is just a, another big sh ship. That's true, that's okay. That's oh. okay. Yeah, probably. So, who actually does the slip rider has? Not sure, but not that much. As, yeah, we're combat, so he could change the abstract and teeth to the to lower of both. Yeah, it's a great ability here. Many people underestimate this uh, effect. So he has many options uh, to kill Luigi right now. Either he can summon a dweller, or he can summon another Ignister maybe. Or using the effect from uh, Ignister first, of course. Now he summoned the dweller. Oh, custom. I am also custom. Yeah. Well, well played from Francesco. I thought Luigi would have the game right now, but the damage jugger saved him. Luigi had the perfect answer of the time space capital and solar scolding. Who play at Hearthstone? Yeah, you know, it's a great game. Probably is the only that's not playing Hearthstone, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, someone's also playing Hearthstone. Yeah, I'm also playing Hearthstone, right? Actually, I really like it. Because nobody can cheat on that. So no, you're no, safe on that. There are no corrupt at all of English school. Yeah. There are no corrupt uh, ju judges or something like that. Yeah. Oh, actually, you are safe from any uh, from any wrong decision. Yeah. So, from Francesco, what is the that the card he is starting here. Possibly uh, I Iron Wolf, the most common choice. Iron so Wolf and Cyberbank, right? And well, uh, System Downs and Cyberbank is for sure. Uh, yeah. Yesterday we talked about that. Which card is better? Cyberbank, Cyberbank uh, Core, or System Down? Many cards is uh, pros and cons. Actually, I don't like Cyberbank. I'm also liking Cyber Dragon. Uh, I would rather play uh, Cyber Dragon Core just because uh, custom players can board stuff like Great Horn of Heaven and it just outs your Cyber Dragon on its own. Time Space Triple, you can make Time Space Triple on Cyber Dragon exactly. Or you can just take out one uh, pilot for a Cosmo Dark Destroyer and destroy the Cyber Dragon before you fusion summon. So actually, the Cyber Dragon Core is better in this situation. So you can just uh, remove it from the wave and summon another core. Um, but severing core, the, the downside from this is it uh, steals your normal summon. Yeah. Uh, where uh, system down is sometimes better. More or less, because otherwise he just get it back next to her yeah, with this cosmic yeah. But still, I think, I don't know which card is better. Depends. And you, you are paying 1000 life points, but. Oh, I think that's gonna be a problem. 
show me a big deal if you get rid of him. <laughs> yeah. And for the Luigi side, uh, what are Cosmos siding against multi spec accounts? I you heard from about Stygian Dirt, Golden Match, stuff like that. Spell, spell Trap Removal. Yeah. Um, well, that many, I didn't see that many possible so, another, another awesome stuff from Francesco here with uh, the raccoon and Luster Pendulum. It's actually great. Yeah. Again, a dream star. Oh, my but like this, Sephiroth is broken. Always have the foolish for Sephiroth. Yeah. Now he's thinking about the like Devil Shuttle or Sephiroth. As with Devil Shuttle, he could add Flame Mascot or Flash Fire to make the Bobo combo with Lost Dragon. And he's going for that. Right now, we don't have the awesome rank 4s like in the OCG. Uh, so the first turn rank 4 is really awkward, you can make King Remnants the best one right now, I think. Yeah. Make a plus 1. Uh, well, uh, Cosmo, uh, first turn, the best six lead is Trapeze in defense. Now he, he has for book on feet, but that's no problem, as Trapeze says you don't get any damage as long as your life cards are lower. Mm -hmm. uh, no, as long as the damage is lower than his attack. Uh, so black screen. I, uh, we don't have a black screen or something. Um, Just refresh your browser, maybe yeah. and we can be solved with that. Yeah, like you said, Robin, our first turn Trapeze Magician is very hard to auto case through with a Cosmo uh, deck because, yeah, you can just summon a Plush Fire with Trapeze Magician. With the Plush Fire, you can summon a, a clown, Trick Clown. When the uh, trick clown uh, is gone to the grave, you can summon it again. So basically, you can just uh, stop four attacks with one uh, trapeze magician. I think. I don't know what he's doing. So he's going for the plus two well, king remnants. Yeah, and here is the hype muscle chameleon. Mm -hmm. I think he's now having in hand a uh, temper, uh, much respected tempest, the counter trap, as he did so shiny thing. Ich weiß, wenn er so ein Ich spart noch nicht. Ich das 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 nicht. Ich life changed in one second. <laughs> ich muss das auch auf kurz nicht. Ehrlich gesagt. Yeah. Alle halten das so, das heißt in der Bahn, weißt du so. <lacht> Muss einfach nur ins Ohr halten, einfach. <lacht> Guck mal, was das ist. Sorry, guys, we are uh, back at the game. We, we had a funny situation with Norman right now, because people are sending uh, uh, text, no, uh, voice messages on WhatsApp and uh, are just holding his phone. Uh, yeah, and everybody can hear the voice message. But there's a simple trick. You yeah, just put you, <laughs> you just put the, your phone on the on your ear, and the voice comes out of the phone, not as the loudspeaker. Loud, loudspeaker, loudspeaker. Double up. Four and zero. That's interesting. Um, as Cosmo don't play that many outs, um, the most common. If it's on field, it's basically good witch and then destroy a Raigeki or a Dark Destroyer. What is the, the effect on F0 exactly? So, cannot be destroyed. So it can't be destroyed in battle. Uh, you don't get any damage in battles where this card is involved. After it's battled, you can 
uh, take the control of your opens monster until the end of the battle phase. Uh, exactly. And if it will be, be destroyed, that effect, you can detach one. Exactly. And that's it. So, so really a nightmare for Cosmo to get rid of this card. Well, he has a good So he has a good witch, like you, like you said. And Maybe you can see a Raigiki or Cosmo Dark Destroyer. So you can basically just take out the good witch for Dark Destroyer. Mm -hmm. Francesco is not happy about that good witch. Okay. Please. Huh? Destroyed? Maybe it shouldn't be destroyed, right? I'm not sure if it's mandatory or not. If it's not mandatory, it was basically in the graveyard. <laughs> it's like 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 uh, any cards that cannot be destroyed by battle. If it's face down and you attack it, it's still not destroyed. I just have it. It's right. No, if it's I think it's just written. It cannot be destroyed by battle, so it's, it has to be uh, mandatory. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly, that's the point. Sorry. So that was maybe a mistake from Luigi. A huge mistake. But maybe he doesn't have the Cosmo Dark Story in hand to get rid of that. To search Dark Destroyer. Oh, so, that was a big mistake. So he had basically the out. So Luigi had the out to that F0, but they unfortunately didn't know the ruling from F0. Oh, that's really bad. Why is he 3 at 7k? Ah, uh, yeah, no, okay, he, he paid 2 times 500. Once for Goldwitch, once for Farther. He's not in a really bad position. He looks really relaxed now. When will be the, the deck list posted? People are asking in the Twitch chat. Uh, when the top 16 started, then I have to the price of Italian? Guys, yeah, the decks are all uh, written in Italian, so first we have to find a guy who can translate all the cards, and then we can uh, upload the decks later. So just stay tuned, follow the Facebook page from Complexity, and you will see the decks later. Yeah, we will post the link in the chat. Maybe tonight, guys, just be, be patient. Oh, that's poor. That was the one I would tell you. So, still, the F-Zero is on the field. A big nightmare for Luigi here. Francesca is the as he just has the Fox and the Pebble scale. And um, what is the scale of Fox? Uh, two. Well, it depends now. I uh, guess three card stamps or two. That's kind of just the overhype. I don't think it's overhype. It's pretty strong. I would like to see uh, if anybody here is playing this vector painful decision build. Uh, Not necessary right now. <laughs> If the next set comes out, I think you can uh, drop the Chameleon mm -hmm. and when play, you have the Draco Slayer, Slayer spell card and the Vector Pelham is much easier to get on the Ignis so Permanent set. You don't even need the King Gremlin man. Already an OTK something like that, or almost with any other yeah, form of <laughs> Uh, are the set cards uh, possibly from Luigi? Okay, Maybe so some the, the Mask of Camilla, but doesn't have a target in graveyard. <laughs> so, really bad actually. So what are the targets from Camilla in this deck? Uh, Last uh, Pendulum has zero defense? And Garnet. And uh, Garnet, the, the Game Knight. Exactly. 
Everybody's laughing at you. <laughs> and for Torp uh, you just have to refresh, uh, or try to refresh your browser. The uh, attack from a chameleon app? Uh, one six. One six. six. Yeah. Ten to edit. <laughs> Uh, he's now trying to attack the good witch, so fair end. Okay. He activated his fairy ring right now. No, Does he have a cosmo turn on? No. no. What the hell? What is the effect from a fox in the pendulum zone? Yes, no. no effect? It doesn't have any effect. Effects like that's weird. We want to activate Ferrin, so he has a solar scrolling, uh, ah, yeah. so he can activate solar scrolling, but on what? On ah, solar scrolling on the F0. Should be solar scrolling, yes. Does, does he activate F0? I have no idea, but it looks like they both agree that it activates F0 on the solar scrolling. So you can detach one it's not destroyed? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, so it looks like it's game. Or does he have another damage shock to save his life? And it's game. The, the mistake from Luigi could able to destroy him next turn. <laughs> but maybe he had uh, other choices here from Francesco. I quickly want to check the sword is holding F0 thing. Um, I'm not sure about it. I mean, the F0 attacks, when he activates a pack, he has to detach one to take control of one of the creatures. Takes control of the monster. You don't have to detach. Ah, okay. Yeah, on, the, on that effect, he activates Solemn Scrolling. Uh, yeah. But uh, does the effect from F0 trigger, or it's up like a permanent effect? I mean, if he tr let, let's say it triggers. When he activates Solemn Scrolling, can he not activate the uh, zero effect to protect itself? Yeah, well, you can change it um, no longer, so. Okay. Can you do that? F0 is Hey guys, we are back at the game. Okay, so Luigi, uh, Luigi started with Farmer and the Anti Spell Fragrance. Wow, Anti Spell Fragrance first turn so huge against uh, Pendulum Dex. What happened? Why is Luigi uh, uh, checking the deck from Francesco? Because he has no target for a Fox or what? Yeah. Why is someone Fox? <laughs> is Francesco still drunk from party or what? <laughs> So basically, uh, Francesco summoned um, Fox 
and realized he has no targets anymore in his main deck. So he gave his deck uh, to Luigi to just uh, check that. What? Uh, Fox can search a spell or a trap? Or just, just trap. So probably he had, uh, has in hand or sided it out, maybe? So things are looking very bad for Francesco here. Luigi has anti spell fragrance and Cosmo Dark Destroyer. And as all magic specters where it cannot be destroyed by card effects, so that's the reason why it's still on the field because of Cosmo, Cosmo Dark Destroyer's effect and cannot be targeted as well. Uh, magic specters. <laughs> I don't know if oh, Magic Specter. Oh, oh my god. Hmm? Cyber is 3. Cyber is 3? Why? Uh, well, 3 is basically just um, a level 4 monster that's called itself Cyber Dragon. So it's, you can use it for Cosmos if there isn't a Dark Destroyer on field. What you can't do with Cyber Dragon or with. Okay. Or with Cyber Dragon 4, so that's pretty cool, but. Don't like that much. Space Trap on the Chimera tech. I think Francesco's playing only one, so he has one again to make a fusion. But still not uh, looking great for Francesco. Does much respect outside uh, spell and trap removal against Cosmo? Yeah, basically, you're just holding more or less on trap removal because against like, Dr. Sawyer, you have the like North Outs. MSC, I also. I, Ooh, oh my god. Oh, and they're just going to be mad. 1 9 beat stick. 1 and up. 1 and up. Oh, wow. And score is 1 1 so far. Guys, it's on the screen. 1 1, you can see it. I think also Luigi doesn't have that a good hand. Maybe his hand comes this one with uh, bigger uh, ships. No pilot. I know this feeling. Oh, where's a pilot? And it's farm girl. And she attacks the gem knight? Does, does Luigi play with honest or something like that? Or oh, it, was, it was just a bluff? No, the next part is a bluff. Or the bluff. Or the bluff. Or the bluff. Or the bluff. Okay, on the temple. Oh my god. He opens probably double. Why you couldn't activate the building for him? He opened with two gem knights? Probably, yeah. He opened with two gem knights and no target with fox. <laughs> Oh, uh, now I'm cyber dragon. Yes, what well, would be so funny if Francesco wins this game because he started so. This game. Yeah, it's yeah. one one right now. This game is so great. I think it's still a chance for Francesco if Luigi doesn't have any pilots left in his uh, in this turn and his uh, next turn could be over maybe. <laughs> what an awkward match here. Or oh, no, about game night. And it's all? No, really? <laughs> this was enough, guys. So, Francesco won. <laughs> Francesco. <laughs> Luigi had uh, uh, anti spell fragrance. Sta uh, starts with anti spell fragrance. Who your nightmare for pendulum decks. But Francesco could manage to win just with game night and his few. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just a, the worst hand ever. Double Vanilla, a spell that couldn't activate them to do two side rank lows. And I guess Luigi's hand was with big ships and I don't know what the set cards were. Hey yeah, guys, this was it. Francesco won his match and has a chance to make it to the top 60. Like I said, it's not guaranteed for him. Uh, we will inform you as soon as we have the top 16 uh, pairings. We're looking for some crazy decks that made the top net. Which one? I nice said Francesco. Do you want to come and come? Do you want to come here and commentate it?
So guys, dear Francesco here, you will uh, tell his... his okay, so we are here with Francesco, who won this game with probably the worst time you can imagine. Um, how was your feeling when you opened the five cards? When I opened the uh, five cards, I had the Brilliant Fusion, two Yellow Monster, Fox and uh, two Cyber Dragon Dre, and I said uh, it's okay for the Dre, but uh, I have three cards useless. Um, I have three useless cards in my hand. You draw the match respect to Fox, uh, did you side out? Yes, because uh, because I sided out all the traps to side in Denko Secca, but I play only one trap of the match respect. Yeah. Because I said that uh, I uh, knew that uh, Luigi played uh, a very consistent list with a uh, lot of traps. Yeah. So I said uh, it's better to quit out the traps, even Solemn Warning, Upstar Goblin, to side in Denko Seca and all the Cyber Dragon stuff. Just go for it. Yes, but uh, I never uh, figure, I never imagined that uh, that I dread this end and win because uh, when you. When you draw, when you draw a brilliant fusion, you can't fuse your monster from your hand. Exactly, so, yeah. so it was like uh, what? Check. <laughs> Interesting. Choose to play Cyber three over Cyber Dragon or Cyber Dragon. I play, I play both Cyber Dre and Cyber Dragon uh, normal. Uh, yesterday morning, I was, uh, I was deciding between System Down and Cyber Dragon Dre. But uh, then I knew that uh, the Cyber Dragon uh, Chimera Tech Fortress was uh, better than the system down because you banish and then you can add again with, uh, with uh, Cosmo Town. So when the monster are in, are in his graveyard, he can do nothing. And uh, even when I, when I saw he flipped the anti spell fragrance, I said, Yes, I have a uh, masked chameleon to go for castle, uh, uh, the double Xyz, uh, three, three mystical space typhoon, uh, and uh, that's, uh, that's all my outs. I, I really needed the royal decree. Because uh, I have a very difficult matchup versus Satellar Knight, so I will uh, play that. Well, congratulations. Um, yeah, but, yes, uh, but uh, I don't know. <laughs>